Hey guys, Willie and Murphy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. In today's episode, we are back on the Miss Mini rear suspension. And today I'm gonna to be fitting the wheel studs back into the hub. Let's get into it. Okay, so next up we're going to do is fit the studs to here. So I'm taking the hub back off of the radius arm. I'm just going to take the washer and the outer bearing back out, uh, just so it doesn't fall out. And uh, what I'm going to do is if I can find them. Get my four studs. Now these get pushed in from the back. So I can flip that over, and they've got, on the top of these, uh, or the bottom of these studs, they've got some splines, and they go in, and they match up with the splines that are already in this arm. Now unfortunately, because this has been epoxied, the holes are now full of paint, so I'm going to need to make sure I put something in there to clean up all that epoxy, so I have some fresh metal to bind these studs to. So what I've done is I've just cleaned off the paint inside here, which I'll zoom the camera in, which hopefully now expose up here the splines inside here. So what I can do is push my stud in, the stud will then go through. So I can twist that stud to make it aligned. Once it gets into a point where it won't twist anymore, I can then push it in a little bit further. Flipping it over, with this now flipped over, I can just give that a bit of a tap. And you can see that the stud is now being drawn through the hub. And what I'll do, I'll put all four in like this, rest it on the uh, raised section of this hub, and then tap them in further. So I'm just going to use a socket and a bit of metal. I'm going to rest the hub on there. Put the four studs in. This is just brake cleaner, which hopefully will uh, clean up any of that crud in there. A little bit of persuasion to get that through. Okay, so I can now hold the hub in place and give it a bit of a tap. And you'll notice once it locates, the note will change somewhat.
nicely located. So a bit with test this with it upside down on the studs. Just give it a bit of a rock and you shouldn't have hardly any play or any movement at all. Um, ideally, I'd like it to be completely flat. So I can give it a few more taps on the way around and hopefully that will be able to seat that properly. Let's get a bigger hammer. There we go. There's no play in that at all. It's fantastic. All the studs are correctly seated. So we put this back on the hub and get it torqued down. Okay, so now I've got the rear radius arm back on the bench. I can fit the hub back up and I can fit my freshly painted drum as well. So, just going to prop this up slightly so you can hopefully see better. Um, the hub itself just slides on in place. Then put my bearing back in. Now I made sure when I took the bearing out I put it on a nice clean piece of rag. Uh, obviously I don't want to catch any uh, or pick up any contaminants or uh, anything that goes into there. Next up is that washer. And then we'll put on this nut. So if you remember from the previous video, this bolt here will go on the opposite direction to a typical thread. And that's so that when the wheel is traveling, it's gonna tighten itself rather than loosen itself. Um, the hub itself, I'm not gonna uh, tighten down just yet. I'm just gonna make sure it's in place and um, secure. So finger tight is absolutely fine for now. And then here is a job I did yesterday evening, giving the drums a fresh look of paint. The brake shoes are fully adjusted in. Just give that actually. Just give them studs a quick bit of copper grease just to help that drum go on a little bit easier. Lots of arguments for and against copper grease. Personally, I love it. I think it's great. Um, but if it's not for you, it's not for you. And it's quite difficult because the hub isn't obviously on anything. So if I try and put any pressure, it's going to wobble. So just giving a bit of a tap around the, the face. The shoes are fully adjusted in, so they shouldn't actually touch him. And I can still rotate freely that um, drum, which is fantastic. There's no rubbing noises against the springs and to the hub, which again, brilliant, really happy with that. And what I'll do, just to make sure all this is nice and secure, is just wind these uh, nuts on. It'll also help protect the threads while it's in storage. So these drums have a securing screw, which is that side there. So, taking a Phillips screwdriver, just winding in that securing screw, and that just holds that oh, screw there down onto the hub. It's not really essential because the, the wheels themselves will hold down that hub. Um, but it just makes everything a little bit neater. With everything all fully built up, once this is on the car, if you're going to do this as a separate job, just make sure that the hub nut is torqued down to the right specification, the wheel nuts are tightened up to the right specification, which is 60 newton meters, uh, and what you want to make sure is when you drive it for a little bit, take the car for around the block, come back, torque the wheels back up again, because with the fresh studs, sometimes they have a, a, a risk of moving um, out a little bit and coming loose. So just make sure you keep on top of making sure these walnuts are tight, 
Um, don't go silly tight because there's no need and you've got the risk of snapping the studs, but 60 newton meters, absolutely perfect. Okay, so apart from the obvious things of talking down the hub nut, the wheel nuts, fitting the radius arm to the rear subframe, fitting the subframe to the car, um, and fitting the handbrake cable, I would say that this side here is now completely finished. Um, I, I'm really happy with how it came out. In fact, I'm really, really happy how it came out. It looks fantastic. So um, I've got, oh, let me get all of it. There's the rear hilo, and there's the new rear cone. So I've got these two uh, installed onto the subframe once that is um, on. And uh, I think it's going to look phenomenal. And I think once it's all back in the car, I think it will look fantastic. The car it's going to, it looks incredible anyway. Uh, it's having a little bit of bodywork done now. So once it's all finished, this car is going to be phenomenal. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to uh, having this car on the channel once it's all done. So I'm going to leave the video here. Uh, as always, if you have enjoyed the content and uh, you haven't already, please consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. It really, really means a lot. And while I'm talking about that, I just want to thank everyone for subscribing to the channel thus far. Um, phenomenal, blown away. Uh, please leave a comment down below. Um, the engagement, I'm sort of picking up with these, these comments, phenomenal as well. So thank you so much for that. Keep them coming. And if you can, like the video as well, because uh, it, it really motivates me to keep putting more content out there. Um, that's it for me for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. And uh, take it easy, guys. See you soon.